He's got two missions. He'll assault your base like a soldier and recover items from loot like a thief. Oh dear. Warning. Hostile presence detected yes, yes, hostile presence. Come on, yes. Hello there. This is Reverend Archer with the Polynesian Public Service Broadcast on a mission in Papua New Guinea. I've got an exciting program lined up for you today. First a few hymns and a bit of a prayer, then we'll see if the Macad tribe managed to give up headhunting for Lent. I've also heard that some evil men have recently been causing mischief in this park, so make sure you take a good book with you at all times. <laughs> so, as the message there said, you're able to get a new henchman. We'll do that in a minute. Bye, tanks again. Awesome. So, what you can do is you can pick from one of the two other henchmen that other evil geniuses begin with. Uh, Alexis begins with Eli Barracuda, who's really good. And Maximilian begins with Jubai, who is also really good. But now you have to pick between them. You will eventually get all three of them, because your final henchman pick will be one of these guys. So you can pick one now, and you'll get the other one later. But the problem is picking which one you want. So Jubai... Jubai is really handy for taking out people, because he's got an ability that's called Windwalk, which means he teleports. But... Eli has an ability, which I can't remember the name of, but essentially he pulls out a boombox, yes, a boombox, and the agents begin to party with him. Plus he's got another ability called Headshot. So I think what we'll do is we'll take Eli for now. And now we won't do any more missions of evilness because we don't want to attract the attention of the next super agent, which I believe unlocks at 240. And her name is Katerina Frostanova, and she's not friendly at all. She's a very unfriendly lady. So we'll hire Eli. Where is Moko? You got any more evil points? Uh, he's got about half of what he needs to get raw. So... This is Atlantic 808 with news from your state. The police commissioner of New York today called up the search for Eli Barracuda, the criminal wanted on suspicion of the mayor's murder. Barracuda has been hiding for many weeks now and has remained elusive despite a high-profile investigation. The commissioner concluded that Barracuda has moved on. Oh, balls. God damn it, Jet Chan. How did you even get into my base? Because all my minions are doing absolutely nothing, isn't it? What are you doing? You're setting a charge, you son of a bitch. Ugh. You just blew up my barracks, you bastard. But hopefully this will mean that our... Minions will actually come in here now and go, Hey, hang on a minute, there's that guy that we were told to distract. Or maybe they'll just die. Hopefully the explosions will kill him. Seriously? You know what? Fine. Kill him. Call all of the henchmen. That's right, all of them. Charming Moko. Ah, the Brainiac machine. That is actually quite useful. There we go, finally. Now put him outside. Yeah, he did a real number on this thing. My god. But how badly do we need... Oh, we don't even need it. Not really, because it would be coming up red if we'd ordered too many minions. And we don't really want that many more than what we've got already, so... You know what? Hell with you, Jet Chan. You can ruin this if you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How do you like them apples, bitch? How do you like them apples? But we'll be leaving soon. As soon as he goes back onto the world map, we'll be gone. Oh dear. 
got to put these people back to stealing. Yes, I've changed my mind. We're not going to wait heaps and heaps of time now. We're just going to finish off our current research, pack up everything, and go. We will wait until we've got um, a lot of our um, construction workers replenished, though, because we will have to build a new base on the island that comes up next, and, well, can't do that without construction workers, because they're the only ones who can actually build rooms. So we are forced to wait a little bit longer. But not too much, I promise. <laughs> Won't be too long. You know what, I'm going to jack this up to 1,000, so we get one every 20 seconds. We've got the money to do it. And we'll be selling everything as we go, so won't matter so much. In fact, we'll begin now. Are you sure you wish to destroy the entire room and its contents? Yes. Because I believe you will replenish my money. Yes. Yes. Come on, guys. Come and destroy my room. I'm looking for an orange jumpsuit, and I'm not seeing an orange jumpsuit. The only one I see is that dude, and he's busy. Legitimately busy. Hmm. No, we'll keep them out there stealing. So yeah, there's not much to go on with at the moment, mainly because, well, we're waiting. But we don't want to wait too much longer, because if we do, we won't be able to do any more missions, because we'll unlock a third super agent. And that would be most unfortunate, because she has the ability to go invisible. Yes, she goes invisible. It is as overpowered as it sounds, yes. Oh, Mr. Biochemist. You're supposed to be finding stuff for me to study. Not just looking around aimlessly. Come on, go home. Yay, he's returning to HQ, and apparently he hasn't had any heat raised. This makes me happy. Come on, seriously. Where is the dude assigned to destroying this room? No, that's, that's cancel the room demolition. I don't want to cancel the room demolition. I want to blow it up. I want to see it go bang. I want to see it go bang, you bastards. Hmm. More research, you say? Ah, yes. I forgot. We do have to wait until we've got the infirmary chair. Because I'm pretty sure that once you get to island number two, you automatically get the objective to defeat Mariana Mamba, and I would love to defeat Mariana Mamba because that would mean one less super agent to deal with. Of course, it means you have to take a prisoner, which can be quite difficult. But hey, I'm happy with that. I can deal with that if that's the price of getting rid of the nemesis of my life. Because she's the only one of the agents who can, simply by standing near one of your dudes, get him to like, defect from you. And that is quite worrisome. Guys, seriously, get out of the room that's about to explode. You blowing it up for me? Yes, you, excellent. Come on, biochemist, if you stand in there and you die because you're not leaving the room, I'll be very pissed off. I believe he told you to get the fuck out. There we go. Hopefully this guy will also go and do that. But as you can see, we got lots of money for it. You recoup a lot of what you spent on rooms for destroying them. Kaboom. And we didn't get much money for that one, but that's because there wasn't really anything 
um, expensive in there. Yes. Ooh. That unlocked the bio tanks. So how about we use the bio tanks to try and unlock something else? That could be cool. Nah, Mariana Mamba is chilling. Oh, they're both chilling outside of our base. Excellent. This is very, very good. But even better would be if we had the infirmary chair, because then we could leave. Just come on, guys, don't let me down. Don't let me down. But we've got a nice little nest egg here of 450k, so that's not too bad at all. But what we will start doing is we'll start moving loot items back towards the front of the base. Yes, yes, I know. Not because we have to uh, move them manually. When we leave the island, you don't. Your minions will do that for you. Whoa, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. Freak production. Huh, I didn't think you could unlock that until island two, but apparently I was wrong. Freak production is awesome. I will demonstrate what freak production is. You grab a body bag, and then you dunk the body bag into the bio tanks. This gives you essentially a cool zombie freak. You can't actually control him, but he will attack enemies on sight, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, can't remember what my previous train of thought was. Right, that's right. It was, you don't actually have to manually move the loot when you leave the base. It's just helpful if you're going to blow up the uh, rooms that the loot was in, because then you don't have to worry. I don't think you can delete it, but you might break the game if you try it, so I'd really prefer not to. But this is a fairly useless room, because we don't actually need to be in here anymore, so going to do is we're going to move him and destroy it. Yes. Because there's no point keeping it. It's not actually doing anything functional. After you've used that conference table once, you don't need to use the Inner Sanctum again until you get to Island Number 2's end game. You can use it, but you don't need to. No, I meant kill. Oh hey, you died. What a damn shame. Your agency will miss you. Really? Was it? No, they just followed the storm of minions walking through. That's what happened. I know, I know, I, I know. Whoa, hey man. What happened to leaving? The hell out. Remember, you were doing that thing where you walked to the training room? <laughs> oh yes, that thing, I remember now. Come on, science men. Do me some science. Go take scrapings of the infirmary stuff. Guys, what are you doing? You won't get anything from it. You can't research it, go away. Ooh, freak production is just about to begin. This is pretty goddamn awesome. Come on, come on. You can do it, man, you can do it. Loop. Oh no! It's Frankenstein! Frankenstein! So he's a freak! Let's watch the video. Unlocked the dreadful power of reanimation. Move body bags into the biotanks lab apparatus to view the consequences, if you dare. Dun dun dun! 
It's actually not that bad. He's pretty cool. You can't actually give him any real commands, but as you can see, now the option is unlocked, yada yada yada. Freaks are like your minions, you have no direct control over them. They will lumber around your base at random trying to make themselves useful. They will attack enemies they see, regardless of whether they're tagged or not, and freaks are unable to regenerate any of their stats. So they're essentially zombies. But they're our zombies. And the handy thing is that if Mariana Mamba or whatnot rock up and the freak sees them, you'll still get the alert for fighting, but you won't lose a minion, as it were. You will just lose the freak. Which isn't that bad. I mean, the freak is kind of useless. Hmm, now we're only making 9,200, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. And we're a manipulator now. But we're getting dangerously close to unlocking... No, I don't want that. No, you bastard. You were meant to unlock the infirmary chair. <sighs> We don't already have it. No, we don't. I thought for a minute there maybe I had just missed it, but no, we, we legitimately don't have it. And this is quite disappointing. Come on, guys. What are you doing? You're patrolling my base. Why? And where'd the freak go? Oh, there he is. Still wandering the base, still trying to be useful. The only other problem with freaks, apart from the fact that they don't follow your orders, is that they don't respond to radio calls either. So you can't um, just hope that it'll be in the room, it'll hear a call and then go, Aha! I know, I must go there! Doesn't happen. Will not work. <sighs> you have disappointed me, guys. You really have. You were supposed to unlock the infirmary chair for me. Maybe it's unlockable only on Island 2. I can't remember, but I thought you could unlock it on Island 1. Maybe you can, and I just don't have the right piece of uh, equipment or loot. Yes, yes, we know. So we're almost up to 500,000. That's pretty damn good. And the freak is about to go on his slaughtering thing. Yes, he's like the Hulk. But, he's clearing out the base for me, and it's handy because these guys won't attack him at the moment. All well, those guys might now. The Patriot fellas. But, a lot of them are being distracted. So, where did our freak go? What's he doing now? Oh, now he's getting shot. But that's fine. He's quite deadly, so it doesn't matter that much. But he's clearing out the area, which is excellent, and providing more body bags, which we can turn into more freaks. It's a win-win. Now there is a school of thought for Evil Genius where there's the idea that you can build a special room for a freak and then make it so the agents will always wander into it. So once they wander into it, the freak can get them, but the freak won't ever get out himself. Which is quite useful. We got an egg chair. Are you shitting me? We got a chair, but it was the wrong sort of chair. God damn it, game. Stop doing this to me. Ugh, fine. Forget it. So let's see, what's Mariana Mamba doing? She's hanging out. Jet Chan's also hanging out. I think... Might be time to start demolishing the base proper. Hang on, what's that? Oh, pharmacy booth. Don't you tempt me, game. Don't you, don't you dare. You better actually be the infirmary chair this time. I'm going to start demolishing uh, various rooms. Oh, well, stop then. Stop. No, stop it. Okay. I guess we won't destroy that room. We don't really need to anyway.
at this point, it's not massively important. Now, where did Mr. Freak end up? Is he around? Where did he go? He didn't die. I don't think. Oh, he's hanging out in the training room. Very wise. Come on, guys. This is your last chance to make things right. I will forgive you if you make this right. If you give me my infirmary chair, I will forgive you. For everything. And then we can go. We can depart island number one. Now, there's some rooms we can't destroy because we need them until the end. This one. And... This one. But we can destroy everything else. So, how's about... We blow that up. We need that for now. We'll move this loot back towards the front of the base. Actually, you can sit in the control room. That way it'll be in a nice central place. And you can go there. And where is the vase? Is it not in here anymore? It must not be in there anymore. Come on, Kane. How'd you come? Be very careful. We need to demolish this place. Blow it up. Yes. Blow it up. Mm, we need the infirmary for now, just so that we can uh, study stuff. Still, we don't need this, but we can't destroy it because it leads to this. So that's okay, we'll keep it. Um, that's pretty much everything that we can destroy, really. We can blow this room up. Just a little mini power battery place. And I believe I ordered that one destroyed, did I not? No. Oh dear, these guys are going to get trapped in panic. <sighs> Come on guys, seriously. <laughs> oh dear. And this guy's even here, he's like, hey, I was going to blow this place up, but you dudes just didn't want to leave. What the fuck is this? But we're getting lots of money, so that's pretty good. Oh, minions, why are you so derpy? <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just something you do, isn't it? It's just something you do. Alright, well, who's assigned to it? Nobody's assigned to it, apparently. Unless it's him. Is it him? Demolishing your base. That's not very helpful. Come on, somebody come back with dynamite. Gotta get these idiots out of the mess they've made for themselves. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Come on. Hopefully he's already put it through the bio tanks. I think he has. Yeah, he has. Laser me some stuff. That'd be kind of awkward if the laser missed the sample and just took out Pete Bog over here. That'd be very embarrassing. Actually, you know what? It's time to bring everybody home. We don't need them out there anymore. Come home to me. I don't think they carry over if you leave them out there as well. I think you lose those minions that are on the world map. So, we'll bring him back, and bring him back means that there's more likelihood that we gain all of our loot back as well when we evacuate. Finally! Hooray! The examination chair. That is the most important thing in the entire first island. Well, the most important single thing, I suppose. It's not the most important. Where'd she go? Oh, she's over there. Okay. And Jet Chan's over there, too. Alright, well, we might end the video here. 
And then in the next one, we will be advancing to island number two. So I shall see you in that video, and until then, take care, and Grey Hunter out.